everyone! Before I start, let me introduce to you myself first. I am Ken Idol Teidaria, taking the course of Bachelor of Science in Criminology. And now, I will discuss to you the number relation problem. In number relation problem, you are given some clues about one or more numbers and use it to build an equation. Number relation problem don't usually arise on an everyday basis, but they provide good introduction in practicing the problem solving strategy. And now, I am going to discuss to you the steps in problem solving. 1. Read the problem carefully and determine the conditions given and the quantities asked for. 2. Represent the unknown by convenient variable, say x. When several related unknowns are involved, express each of them in terms of a single variable. 3. Write an equation involving the known and the unknowns. 4. Solve the equation and determine the value of other using the root obtained, when necessary. 5. Check the results by using the original statements of the problem. Let us move on to consecutive integers. Ano nga ba ang consecutive integers? It is an integers that follow in sequence. Each number being one more than the previous number. It was represented by n, n plus 1, n plus 2, n plus 3, and so on and so forth. Where n is any integer. For example, 20, 21, and 22. So let's review. Sa consecutive integers, tayo ay nag-add lang ng 1. Kaya kapag ang naunang integers natin ay 21, ang kasunod dito ay 22, 23, 24, 25, and so on and so forth. Next, we have consecutive even integers. So if we start with even number, and each number in the sequence is 2 or more than the previous number, then we will get the consecutive even integers. So here is the formula. 2n, 2n plus 2, 2n plus 4, 2n plus 6, and so on and so forth. For example, 22, 24, and 26. At kung meron tayong consecutive even integers, meron din tayong consecutive odd integers. So dito, if we start with odd number, and each number in the sequence is more than the previous number, then we will get consecutive odd integers. Ang formula ay 2n plus 1, 2n plus 3, 2n plus 5, 2n plus 7, and so on and so forth. For example, 21, 23, and 25. Paano nga ba isolve ang mga consecutive integer problems? Ngayon, tuturuan ko kayo sa pamamagitan ng aking examples. Example number 1. The sum of four consecutive even number is 92. What is the third consecutive even number? Solution. The sum of four consecutive even number is 92. Formula. Since ang hinahanap natin dito ay consecutive even number, then ang gagamitin natin na formula is yung nasa consecutive even integers, which is the 2n, 2n plus 2, 2n plus 4, and 2n plus 6. At ito naman ang ating equation. 2n plus 2n plus 2 plus 2n plus 4 plus 2n plus 6 is equals to 92. So, ang una natin gagawin dito ay i-add yung mga light numbers which is yung apat na n. So, 2 plus 2 equals 4 plus 2 equals 6 plus 2 is equals to 8. That's why nagiging 8n na siya dito. And pagkasunod nun, na i-add naman yung mga constant number which is the 2, 4, and 6. That's why nagiging 12 na siya dito. And then, i-bring down lang natin yung 92. Pagkatapos nito ay ita-transpose natin siya. Bring down mula yung 8n is equals to 92 minus 12. Nagiging negative 12 na siya dito since nung nasa nauna siya ay positive siya. Pagkatapos nito ay isa-subtract natin yung 92 and 12. So bring down mula yung 8n and then 
92 minus 12 is 80. Para ma-isolate natin yung n, ay i-divide natin siya both by 8. So, 8n divided by 8 is n. And 80 divided by 8 is 10. So, nakuha na natin ang value ng ating n. Pero hindi pa yan ang tamang sagot dahil ito ang gagamitin natin para makuha yung apat na consecutive even integers. So, babalik tayo sa ating formula which is yung 2n, 2n plus 2, 2n plus 4, and 2n plus 6. Lahat ng n dyan, papalitan natin ng 10. So, 2 times 10 is equals to 20. 2 times 10 plus 2 is equals to 22. 2 times 10 plus 4 is equals to 24. And 2 times 10 plus 6 is equals to 26. Therefore, the four consecutive even integers is 20, 22, 24, and 26. Thus, the third consecutive even integers is 24. Since ang hinahanap naman dito ay ang ikatatlo na consecutive even integers. Example number 2. The sum of the least and greatest of three consecutive integers is 50. What are the values of three integers? So step 1, assign variables. Let x be the least integer, x plus 1 middle integer, and x plus 2 greatest integer. Translate sentence into an equation. Sentence, the sum of the least and greatest is 50. Since ang sinasabi lang dito ay ang least and greatest, ang isusulat lang natin ay ang x at x plus 2. Step 2, solve the equation. So, x plus x plus 2 is equals to 50. So, x plus x is equals to 2x. And bring down lang natin yung 2 and 50. Pagkatapos nito, ay itatranspose natin siya. So, bring down mo yung 2x and equals to 50 minus 2. Nagiging negative 2 na siya dito since ito ay positive nung nasa taas siya. Pagkatapos nito, ay isasubtract natin ang 50 and 2. So, bring down mo yung 2x and 50 minus 2 is 48. Para ma-isolate natin yung x, i-divide natin both side by 2. So, 2x divided by 2 is x. And 48 divided by 2 is 24. Nakuha na natin ang value ng ating x, which is the 24. So, step 3. Check your answer. So, x plus x plus 2 is equals to 50. Since ang value ng x ay 24, papalitan natin ito. Kaya magiging 24 plus 24 plus 2 is equals to 50. Therefore, the values of 3 consecutive integer is 24, 25, and 26. At kung nagtataka ka kung bakit 25 and 26 ang kasunod nito, babalikan natin ang ating definition kanina sa consecutive integer. Sa consecutive integer ay nag a lang tayo ng 1. Kaya kapag ang naunang number ay 24, mag a lang tayo ng 1 which is magiging 25 and 25 plus 1 ay 26. Kaya ang 3 consecutive integer natin ay 24, 25 at 26. Once again, I am Ken Idol T. Luria and I hope that you have learned something in my short video discussion. And before I end this, I'm just leaving you a short Bible verse, which is the Jeremiah 29:11. It stated there that, "For I know the plans I have for you," declares the Lord, "plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future." That's all, and thank you, everyone. God bless us all.